Hey everybody, Mr. Mathlog here, and this lesson is on the area of combined rectangles. So this is our lesson 13.3. Don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com. All right, uh, there's our common core strand, and our essential question is how can we find the area of combining rectangles? That's what this lesson is. See, here we have a couple of rectangles here. So Bruce loves watermelon and roses. He built the garden with the, the dimensions shown over here. So it looks like a rectangle of watermelon and a smaller rectangle of roses. This almost looks like a square right here. So what is the total area of the two sections? Okay, there's several ways we can do this. Um, uh, we'll get, so uh, let's go ahead and do one with uh, using grid paper. So we can just count uh, the square units on grid paper. So we'll draw this garden on grid paper and then find uh, the area of each section just by counting up all the little grids, all the squares inside the shape. Okay, so there it is right there. Just slid that up. Okay, so it's drawn on grid paper now. So now we're just going to uh, find the area of each rectangle. So the area of the of the watermelon garden is, um, uh, looks like there's 8 going across right here. So plus 8 more is 16. And then 16 plus 8 more is uh, 24. And if we counted all these little squares inside of here, there would be 24 of them right there. Okay. So, and then we'll do the same for the roses. Here's 1, 2, 3, 4. And then 4 more is 8. And then 4 more is 12. And then 4 more is 16. So there's 16 there. So the total area is which we're going to go, go ahead and add 24 plus 16. And 24 plus 16 gives us 40 square meters. So that's how big Bruce's garden is, is 40 square meters. Okay, another way is we can just use our area formula, base times height for uh, each uh, rectangle right here, you guys. So, so if we just go ahead and fill in base times height, this is 8 times 3 right here. Okay, and then um, uh, this little piece is going to be uh, 4 times 4 right here, okay? So the area of 8 times 3 is 24, and the area of 4 times 4 is 16. So if we added 24 and 16 together, we'd still get 40. So the total area is still 40 square meters, okay? Don't forget, area is always in square units, you guys. In this case, it's in M. This little M means meters, so, so square meters right here, okay? All right. So, is there another way we could divide that figure up into uh, to find the total area and explain? Okay. So here was what we cut it up before. Well, we didn't have to cut it in this direction. We could have sliced it right here and then got this little rectangle, which is uh, four by three. It looks like I said three by four over here. So three times four is twelve. And then this little rectangle is four by seven. And I said seven by four. That's okay. Seven by four. Seven times four is twenty-eight. And 12 plus 28 still gives us 40 square meters on there, okay? All right, so here's another one, you guys. Abdul is laying sod, and sod is grass uh, in his backyard. The diagram shows where the sod will be laid. The space uh, is made by combining rectangles. What's the area of the space? So what's this area of all of this green sod right here? So we can find the area using addition and subtraction right here. So we'll do the addition way right here. So base times height. So we just sliced it right down here, you guys. And then so this is 8 and this is 9. And it looks like uh, this little rectangle is, okay, this 24 down here goes for the whole length. So i got to use this 16 right here. 16 by 17 right here. So let's slide that up right up here. Okay, so 8 times, uh, remember this is 8 by 9. That's the area of rectangle A. So this is going to be 8 times 9. And then this is going to be um, uh, 16 times 17 on that one right there. Okay, now 8 times 9, you guys, I, I broke it up. I did uh, half of 8, which is 4. 4 times 9 is 36, so if I double 36, that would give us 8 times 9, because 8 is double 4. Okay, so if you forget what 8 times 9 is, um, you can just do half of 8 times 9, which is 4 times 9, which is 36, and then double that. And that's what I did with this one. I kept doubling and doubling. I first started off with 2 times 17. 2 times 17 is 34, so if I double that, that's going to get me 68, so that's what 4 times 17 is. Well, i got to keep going, so if I double that again, add double 68 is 136, that's 8 times 17, and then double that one more time, that's going to get me 16 times 17, okay? I was showing that to some of my students in my class, how to, how to multiply bigger numbers. Just, just take half of it and then double it. 
Anyways, 272. And if you don't like that method, if you like the old school method, you know, where it's uh, you write the numbers on top and do it, that's fine too. 16 times 17 is 272. Well, I have some students that know what 17 times 17 is because that's called a perfect square. It's 289. And then so if 17 times 17 is 289, and 16 times 17 is 1 less 17, so 289 minus 17 is, is 272. Whatever works with you, you guys. So the, the sum of the areas, you guys, we're just going to add 72 plus uh, 272. So I did that over here, and we get 344 square feet, okay? All right. Uh, another way is to use subtraction, and I call it the surround and subtract method. So... I have these things in my classroom, they're called geo boards, and we use rubber bands. And so when we're trying to find this area right here, we have this all uh, with the rubber bands, and there's little pegs. There's a peg right there, a peg right there, a peg right there, a peg right there. And pegs where all this rubber band would go for our figure. And then we take another rubber band and surround the whole thing, and we call it surround and subtract. Anyway, so we have the big rectangle, the whole rectangle now, which is now... 24 by 17 that's the whole rectangle including this little dude right here so 24 times 17 then we take off this little square right here and if we take off that little square we'll be left with just the green piece right here okay remember the answer is still uh, 344 you guys so we're gonna still get 344 so here we go so 24 times 17 okay so um, uh, and then this little, uh, we're going to take off this little piece right here, this little uh, square 8 by 8 right here, okay? So whatever 24 times 17 is, is the whole figure. And then 8 by 8 is this little guy, so we're just going to cut that off and take it off right there, okay? So uh, 24 times uh, 17, well, I know 20 times 17 is uh, the same as 2 times 17, which is 34 with a 0, Okay, and then 4 times 17 is still 68. We just did that right there. So 24, we add these together, and we get 24 times 17. So add these together, and we get 408. Okay, just some tricks that we've gone through with the prior lessons. 8 times 8 is 64. Okay, so then we're going to subtract, you guys. So the difference between the areas is going to be 408 minus 64. Okay, that's going to give us 344 square feet. The same answer that we got before. All right. So the area of the sod space is 344 square feet. All right, easy enough. Always answer the, co uh, the question in the context of the problem. Is there another way we could divide the figure to find the total area right here? Well, well, we did this. We cut it down right here. We can do a slice right across here and then find the area of those two rectangles. So what I did was is um, uh, uh, we're not using this 24 right here. We're going to go... 16 times 8 is 128 right there, okay? And then we do uh, 24 by 9, and that's going to get us 216. So 128 goes right here, 216 goes right here. And it still adds up to 344 square feet on that, okay? All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. Take care.